Welcome to a special 80scomics.com. I'm not sure what they call this video. It's like an unboxing, but really I'm just excited to be here. It's a Godzilla, the Showa era films, 1954-1975 collection. Hardcover book from Criterion. With 15 Godzilla films. And we're going to take a look at this here. And I may just have to add it to the Jeff Darrow shrine that I'm going to put on the, Def, the Jeff Darrow shrine that I'm going to put on the uh, the website. Since Jeff Darrow, I love the way Jeff Darrow. First of all, he's one of my favorite artists, but I love the way he draws Godzilla in particular. So, pretty excited to see what he's contributed to this book. My son and I love to watch all the Godzilla movies, so this one was kind of a no-brainer. I don't buy that many Blu-rays anymore. Don't need them, but this this I kind of needed. So let's take it out of the shrink wrap, open this thing up, and see what we got. And we'll be starting this weekend at the top. Here we'll take a look down the, the list of films first. Godzilla, Godzilla Raids Again, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Mothra vs. Godzilla, Ghidra, the three-headed monster, Invasion of Astro Monster, one of my favorites, Ibira, Horror of the Deep Son of Godzilla, not one of my favorites. Destroy All Monsters, All Monsters Attack, Godzilla vs. Hedera, Godzilla vs. Gigan. That, that, oh, I love, I love that movie. Gigan's one of my favorites. I mean, anything that's got a saw blade in their chest, is, anything that's got a saw blade in its chest is pretty awesome. Godzilla vs. Megalon, Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla, obviously, in terror of Mechagodzilla. You know who approves? Godzilla. Just, you know, of course, because I, I have one just sitting here, obviously. Brr. All right, let's open this up. 80scomics.com. Not a comic, but kind of belongs on there. It's like putting your hand in Godzilla's mouth and chomp it off. Everyone ready? This is the first time I've opened this. I'm actually pretty, pretty excited. Oh my God, that's amazing. <laughs> it's so lifelike, too. Look, it's like you can't even tell which one's the picture and which one. Yes, you can. Here, I'll put him there. Like he's, can you see him on camera? There we go. It's like he's watching. I'll put him over there. All right. Oh, man, I love these page designs. This layout work is terrific. Great colors, too. Godzilla eating things. Good. Oh, this is great. Look at this. Each film gets its own page, its own layout. Is everyone ready? Well, there's no mistaking that. That's Jeff Darrow, all right. How many dogs are there pooping in the background? One of his favorite, like machine guns and bottles of like 40s laying around. Or did he have to struggle to not do all that in this picture? You guys all read Shaolin Cowboy yet? You need to read that one. Look that one up. Shaolin Cowboy from Jeff Darrow. It, it's worth it. It's not as good as Hard Boiled, but, you know, what is? Yeah, there's Hedera. That's, that's the Swamp Monster thing. And, uh, I mean, there's got to be something inappropriate lurking in here somewhere, but I'll, I'll look for that later. Well, this looks great. All right, where are the movies? This does have movies in it, right? Somewhere. There we go. There's the films. Fifteen films on what eight discs? Godzilla vs. Gigan on the same disc as Godzilla vs. Megalon. I was gonna say I don't remember the last time I bought a Blu-ray, but actually I do because it was the new Godzilla movie, which is like sitting over there somewhere. <laughs> so I guess I bought I buy I'll only buy Godzilla. Hi, there I am. Here's a close-up look. The discs are easy to pull out of there, and I love the fit and finish. This is a very nice set. It's expensive, so it should be. Good hardcover. Nice printing quality. Good paper quality, too. And it'll, it won't fit on the shelf next to Godzilla King of the Monsters, but it'll fit somewhere, and I'll, I'll add it to the website in, like, a miscellaneous section. I got some other stuff, like this Ghost in the Shell official log. It's not really a comic book. But, like, it should be on there anyway, because it's cool. And everything on 80s 
80scomics.com is cool, except for the Ewoks comics. They are most definitely not cool, but they are entertaining for review purposes. I'll post updates on the website or my other social media feeds with respect to the video quality, though. I suspect it's very nice. Godzilla, the Showa era films, 54 to 75. Looks promising. Ah!